Hello everyone, this is Stevio here, back on Midwest Horizons. So today, we are just coming from our fishing pond. Need to feed the fish this morning. So we got a busy day today. So we got a new demo on the farm today. So it'll help us plant the soybeans in. Jump in our old 100 here. First of all, we need to feed the cattle. Yearlings are balling. We need to get some feed in their belly. We'll go do that quickly. Then, we need to get started on our soybean planting. Hopefully you're all doing good today. Good day to be on the farm. So if you haven't seen the prior two videos, we got some yearlings. We started a feedlot. So I had a better feedlot, feedlot lot cattle pin, but due to the tournament, it kind of messed up my mod swap that over get my better uh, lot it's more it's made directly just for feeding cattle so and I will post that in my mod links in case you guys are interested so we still need to get some feed for these cattle purchasing all the feed right now. I was hoping to catch the oats before they ripen, but it appears that we waited a little bit too long and now they're ripened. So we will just end up combining them. Take a few loads over to our cattle quickly. Guess I didn't have it turned on there. Turn this on. So we have two of our four bit pins halfway full. So hopefully we can get some more yearlings to sell. Uh, I'm also using what they call the cattle breed mod that helps basically with it gives you more cost for transport and it changes with the breeds I have black Angus so black Angus are more suited for the feedlot they grow quicker and they reproduce a little bit quicker something like Hosteen's they produce milk quicker if you're looking for a dairy farm. That's not what I was trying to do with this farmyard. We are just feeding yearlings. I hope someday somebody makes a cow-calf uh, mod out there, which would be nice. So, they get work with seasons because it would be nice if you could feed up yearlings throughout the year and get new calves every single year. It would definitely make the animal process or the cattle raising process and farming simulator more enjoyable, I think. More realistic. Right now it's only really realistic for dairy farm aspect of it which cow calf and feedlot are a big portion of our beef so 
So we will just feed them this second load and then that will be it for today. Hopefully they quiet down with the hollering, bellering. Not doing a very good job of backing up, that's for sure. There we go. Do like these overhang feed bunks here. Overhead coverage on the feed bunks. Keep the mud and the gunk down. Let's clean up we have to do. There we go. Now it's done. Now we get to look at our demo John Deere air seeder. So I know in the last video we were getting our 1770 row crop planter ready, but the problem is is John Deere said they we could demo this air seeder. So why wouldn't we take them up on this great opportunity? So this is a 1890 44 foot air seeder and it's pulling a 1910 tow behind cart so let's get this over to the field and start planting some soybeans and then our all of our crops will be in this year Get this over to our big field. Not sure what we should call that field other than our big field right now. This field beside us is our uh, West 80. Uh, and then we have two we have an East 40 and a South 40 field. Not sure what the acreage coverage will be for this field. Hopefully we get the unit convert mod soon. So that way it'd be easier for us Americans be able to interpret seed use, the yield gain from crops and all that. Unfold this quick. It's like the hydraulics is nice and slow, more realistic. Headlands 13.5 meters. Hopefully, it's reading, it's taking a little while. Go. go and we're off so love this planter I was waiting for it to come into 19 like it did into 17 I believe this is the same one of the same versions 
That was in 17. Looks like everything's working good. Wheel placement's good. Not too unrealistic. Good movement on them. Looks like they all... Are they turning? Not sure. We'll see here. Oh, yep. Yeah. All turn. Back ones, I think, are solid. Made to be solid. Front ones are made to turn. Keep the wear. The trailer looks like it's trailing good. So, have hose hook, the hose hookups all to it. Unfortunately, I see it doesn't have hydraulic hookups. I don't know if that's because of this 9RT or the implement. Not for sure if the 9RT has hydraulic hookups to it or not. So, it says this will take one hour and 26 minutes. Looks like the sunflowers are doing good. That's my dream circle to own one day, this farm. It's 140 acres over there. So, I don't know if it just doesn't have dirt textures or it just gains dirt very slowly, but the wheels look very clean. Don't see any dirt forming. Oh, I guess, yep. The rims of the wheels are starting to get caked, so it must have some type of dirt textures loaded to it. That's good. It's not overage, as you see a lot in 19, where things just get brown quickly, or completely brown, unrealistic. Don't like that. Not for sure if this cedar has no till ability or not. So that would be in question. So we will time lapse this a bit and then we have to go on to our next project Combine in the Oats. So we got to get the combine ready. Got to get this corn head off of there so we can start combining our oats that are ready to harvest. So I'm going to 
utilize our 70 series here 9870 bullet roller STS John Deere with a big top on the top so I think I can wiggle my way through the bridge there full unfold the wheels why I like this McDon. You got the foldable wheels. It's going to be tight. We're going to have to take this nice and slow. There we go. Watch out for this old elm tree. Go. We don't know why that's too bad. Hopefully, this may readjust. I don't know if the cutting bar is doing that. Seems like we're sliding. go. Oh, maybe that was just the reel. I obviously had it way too far down. So, got to get the combine set up. So, I think I'm just going to use the... Oh man, it's still sliding. I hope this... See how it acts here. I think before we get started too far on that, I'm gonna set up a. We're just gonna use a gravity flow wagon because we're so close to the bins here. Doesn't really pay to use a grain cart or semi. I believe. We will get our 7240 up. Good candidate for this job. Go over and get one of our JM Gravity Flow wagons here. Go. power shift transmission up drive around here it's been a lot of people saying I need to do more first person so I'm gonna try to do a little bit but I'm not gonna do a lot just because I don't like the picture it gives so if you're setting up a course play to unload the combine, what I always like to do is set it up. We will go out of first person here. So set it up in the field. Obviously unload all the other courses. You want to do this. Actually, this one, sorry. So, put it on that one. This is X and equals C, or goes around to C. So, you're basically unloading the combine to X, unload coil. So, you start your breadcrumbs for your course. The thing I always like to do is course play sometimes has a hard time lining up. So, I turn it really sharp right at first. See how them breadcrumbs are closer together then it seems like course play has less dirt moments if you do that so all we have to do now is drive over our on low point so we will just drive over here
and drive over, and that's it. Now that's hopefully, as long as we hit the trigger correctly, we'll unload this wagon. That's how easy it is. So, still have a little bit. The key is when you're doing this, try to stay away from all other triggers. So let's say I had a trigger over here for this uh, silo or something. If I ran over that, even though that silo doesn't accept oats, combine oats grain, it will still derp up course play. So don't want to hit any other triggers. So now I want to get on to the field. And I like getting so stopping at a point where you can see every corner of the field that way if that combine is in the corner over there or something this will not run into a tree or a building or something this is field 43 So here you want to search for the combine you can search on the field now so we will search on field 43 so even if you had the course play course over here not in the field or whatever it was still search in this field uh, anything else this is offset we will keep that at auto usually I will set it myself actually I think I will set it I'll keep it at auto right now and then I adjust it usually later. Uh, covers. Field speed, I usually leave that alone. And drive course. So now we will continue as combine. So I'm hoping this header, sometimes these headers, they don't exactly they don't fit the combine just perfectly correct and they'll either be too far up or too far down causing the combine not to be able to steer so I'm hoping that's not the case for this McDon header because my last version the one that did not have auto retracting or wheels trailer or roading wheels transportation wheel set up uh, it went it steered very well and combine fit it very well so hoping that's not the case it's going to be very disappointing to me because I've looked forward to these McDonald's coming to 19 sorry about missing some of the crop there I'm gonna blame the header for not steering correctly good farmer always blames somebody else other than themselves so Looks like our planter stopped. So usually when course play derps up something like that, it stops the planter. It stops all operations and it's when you get a lot of wandering course play operators. So see your guys wandering, go 
check out something derped up. Just remember, course play is still in a beta, so there's going to be issues with it. In my opinion, it's still well worth it to operate with it. Don't know, so I think I know my old gravity wagons worked, but I got them gravity wagons from the farming terminal or I reloaded them. Something seems to be wrong with them. There's an air or something in them, so going to have to go check that out. So I'm not getting the air personally, but it seems like with course play it's derping up. I used I've ran them gravity flow JNMs before course play and not had any issues. In that case tractor, so. So this guy is making way around looks like he's almost done with the headlands so we are going to have to fill him up so we better get the seed tending our cab over see that I did call it a cab over so we better get our hazards on Like our combines already on the third pass. So working good. This is why I really like course plays because you could just see it just feels like your whole farm is coming alive and like you're playing with other people. In like a multiplayer type atmosphere. This is a field I'm thinking about purchasing also just because I want to plant this all into grass. Some of it's already in grass. I can harvest that off. Just bring that air drill right over there and plant it straight to grass. That way it gives us more for our feedlot. We'll go check this ground out here. See how the terrain is. Has any low spots? Haven't really checked it out too much. There is some buildings in the center of it. it looks like some of the fence extends out, so we would have to delete it. We have an old road path leading to a back farm here. So this would be field 48. I guess field 48 would be a good field to purchase too. Looks like it has some corn with they planted in flowers in their cornfield. This is some soybeans here. Got some old cob cribs over here. Now is this useful? Yes, it is. So we do have an operating building, so that could help us store some of our haying equipment. Don't think this barn will get much use. Maybe someday we could put the horses over here, but horses are so much money, I don't know if I would want them so far away from our view. we were going to purchase that field, what would it cost? Oh, I'd have to purchase 48 too. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. We don't have enough money. We might have to extend our loan because field 48 would be a good field for crops too. And beans, that would be grass field. We wouldn't have to worry about destroying much of the crop walking through. Something to think about. Let me know what you guys think. 
And then we will. Jump back over here for STS. Park it over here. There we go. Now we will park this combine in the shed. Until at least we talk to the banker about purchasing another field. So now we want to. This looks like a good candidate to pull the baler. Look up to our baler up here. Or Massey Ferguson, big square. So this is why we wanted to save that course play course so we can run this. First round I did myself so I don't we might have to go back and touch it up so I don't know how much it's actually gonna hit. So, here's it's getting majority of it. I will time lapse the rest of this.
So we'll take this 9RT back. This was definitely a good demo of this drill. We are seriously going to consider purchasing this drill. Definitely good. The only thing bad about this drill in Farming Simulator uh, 19, it's very hard to, for whatever reason, when you are pulling the grain cart, the, the seed cart, it sometimes derps up your game. So we might end up changing it into a pole drill. So the seed cart in, in the center. So that I think would suffice better so we won't have to reset it. So we will stop it here. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.